Hello friends, my name's James. And this is my 1965 Alberg 30 Sloop SV Tritea. We're on a mission to sail around the world and see as much of this beautiful planet as possible. On this season, we're working our way through New Zealand. I want to share with you all the magic that is Aotearoa. Hello from Kiwi Riki Anchorage on the Great Barrier Island. Moved over here two days ago uh, for some weather that happened last night. We had rains, not too strong of winds, but it rained for the last 24 hours. And um, just been holed up all day doing computer work and getting caught up on things. And now the sun's out. And it is very, very pretty out. So I'm gonna hop in the dinghy and go have a peekaboo look around. I think there's a trailhead right there. I can see a sign. We're just gonna cruise around the dinghy and have a look. This has been a fantastic anchorage. Not too deep, very well protected. And until, I don't know, like three hours ago, I had it completely to myself for two days. And then some other cruisers just showed up. So, let's go see what's up with this anchorage by dinghy. The water's like about a meter deep right here. I'm not gonna go much further in. It goes pretty far back. It must be very, very, very shallow past where these bits are sticking out. Very strange, like, rock stuff over here. Also, look at how funny these, like, sea pearls or whatever they are. Very funny looking, hanging off the tree. My Kiwi friends I met the other day were telling me these are called cockles here. Look at this very funny thing. Very strange. Oh, this rock is cool too. Look at that. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs>
I love when ferns do that. That's cool. Shallows. All right, we're back in action for the time being. We'll see if the GoPro holds up. Um, I want to go check out, there's these cool little islands. They kind of frame out this bay and um, they're really neat looking. So let's go scope this out. Okay, we are preparing to leave Kiwi Riki Bay, which has been fantastic. We're gonna move over to what's called Red Cliff Anchorage, see if there's a spot for us. It's a holiday weekend here, like Labor Day weekend, so it might be crowded. Although that one's on the outside, so maybe it's not as like sought after as the stuff here in Port Fitzroy. We're going to pop over and check that out. Um, there is a cyclone trying to form that looks like it might hit us in a week, just over a week. Of course, the forecast can change. You can only trust the forecast for up to about three days. But I've, I have yet to, with all my time in New Zealand, I have yet to see them forecast a forming cyclone that comes from near the islands and comes down that didn't happen now its intensity might change but i believe it's worth taking caution for and great barrier is very very exposed to that sort of weather so today we're going to move to red cliff spend the night tomorrow we're going to move i think to Baldwin alley bay which seems pretty neat it's on sort of the bottom side of Great Barrier and then we will sail on for Waiheke the next day. So let's get the hook up and get on our way. We're approaching a very very narrow pass called Man o War Channel. It is very skinny but like 50 feet deep. Very, very narrow. Whoa. They said war battleships are not battleships, warships came through here though is what someone told me. I'd like to see a photo of that. Super sketchy. <laughs> Our depth says 75 feet.
shallowest depth I saw was 60 feet. Now we're coming up on Red Cliff where we're going to spend the night. We are anchored in like 25 feet of water, so <clears throat> close to nine meters. We have five scope out, uh, pretty gusty little anchorage. Winds are supposed to taper off throughout the day and be kind of nothing tonight and tomorrow. Pretty spot though, another pretty spot. And this sets us up in a good, good place for our motor tomorrow to Bowling Alley Bay. So, I have spent half of the day since getting here running all new wire uh, from my autopilot socket to the nav station. My, I rewired the plug on it and it worked for a bit and then it stopped working. So um, I tested everything today and I think there was corrosion in that wire. There was like two, two wires connecting to one another that were taped up. I didn't even bother pulling them apart to look at it. I just was like, okay, I'm just gonna replace the whole wire. Replace the whole wire I was then getting full voltage across the board and everything seems to work now. Time will tell. <laughs> Tomorrow will tell us if it actually works when we're underway. But that's what I'm doing in this absolutely beautiful anchorage and bright sunshine, but at least it's not raining on me with all the stuff out. So I gotta finish this up and uh, make dinner. Good morning from Red Cliff Cove. Very peaceful night on the hook last night. <clears throat> well protected anchorage. And I'm getting ready to haul up and head on to Bowling Alley Bay, which is, it's gonna be a cool drive actually. Driving through a bunch of rocks and islands and little paths. Looks really neat on the chart. <clears throat> should be a cool visual to get to see a lot of neat stuff today uh, there's no wind so another motor which is all good we'll get to test out the rewired autopilot see if it works <laughs> hopefully it does um, get into bowling alley bay and um, spend the night and then tomorrow the winds are increasing in our favor for a really good sail to Waiheke Island. There's a tropical storm approaching <clears throat> at first. Well, we'll see how it develops, but first it was looking like a cyclone. Now I think it'll just be a tropical storm, but on all models, it shows that we're gonna get hit with like 25 to 30 knots. And that's like deep into the Horaki Gulf, so. Out here, they're going to see like 40 plus knots. Far more exposed here at Great Barrier. So, I'm going to run in deeper into the, the gulf and um, hole up either at Waiheke or at Ringu Toto. I haven't decided. I'm going to keep watching the forecast and see what the strings look like. And that will determine where I end up. But today, we're going to enjoy the beautiful sunshine, clear skies, and... Uh, have a nice motor along the coast and see what we can see and go check out a new spot.
super easy little motor today and a stunningly beautiful drive. Crazy. You get to like weave through all these like little islands and rock outcroppings and stuff. Really, really cool little passage. We are anchored in 25 feet of water, which is about nine meters. We have five scope out, maybe a little more. And seems like a well-protected anchorage from the winds. Um, little bit of roll. This is the first time I've been in like an exposed kind of open anchorage, open to the sea in a long time. Um, kind of got spoiled being here in New Zealand. There's so many extremely well-protected anchorages to choose from. But this anchorage puts us in a really good spot to jump off and sail to Waiheke tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be good winds. It gives us a good like angle on our rum line to the, I want to go to uh, Onaroa anchorage. So this will be a good spot for the night but a little bit more motion than I've seen in a while. It doesn't look bad right now, but we'll see. It might get a little rolly. Um, the worst anchorage I've ever been in in my entire life, hands down, and I was stuck there for like two weeks, was the Kona, Kailua Kona anchorage on the Big Island of Hawaii. That was just hell. I had a roll stabilizer and everything, and the roll stabilizer actually chafed through and I lost it in 70 feet of water. That was really terrible. Hands down, worst anchorage. Second worst is probably in the Maramu winds at Rangiroa in the Tuamotus. That was a pretty rough week. Um, it, it was so bad at that anchorage. I actually put my my drogue out on the spin pole with a with a dinghy anchor on the bottom to try to like slow the roll a little bit because I didn't have a roll stabilizer. Um, and then third worst could be any number of anchorages in off of Catalina Island in Southern California. California anchorages are so exposed. They are the most rolly. But this doesn't look too bad. And if the winds come up, it'll stabilize the boat and uh, everything will be chill. This anchorage is very pretty and the sun is out. And the autopilot did great all day, which is good news. Now it's just time to sit anchor watch and have lunch. If you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching, fair winds until next time.